you see this place this place this place this place now problem full on what's up guys man this is the story of hush puppy right now you know um a united states court has postponed the sentencing of nigerian serial first star raymond abasi uh, aka hush puppy uh, from the 14th of february 2022 to july um 11th of this year that is something a lot of people are now responding to saying that man <laughs> do you think that hush puppy uh case will be decided this year again because this prospect is actually a kind of um pushing the case or dragging the case and this guy is spending a lot of uh, undocumented time in jail what is your own take about the story i have a lot of things to discuss about in this video before i proceed i want you guys to understand that i'm taking out time to appreciating you guys for watching my videos sharing my videos across social media platforms and being a part of it if you are new to this youtube channel why don't you click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos Guys, uh, this is a big congratulations to uh, M.I. Abaga and his girlfriend, Iniola. And that is something trending right now on social media. 40-year-old rapper M.I. Abaga allegedly engages girlfriend, Iniola. They set up uh, a wedding date soon. And that is something we are all excited about. After 40 years of his life, he has said, man, <laughs> let me call it a shot and get more married because my younger brother is married already that is a person of jesse jacks what is your own story about the the case of mi abaga some people has come out to say mi abaga has a uh, relationship issues and has a uh, kind of um, attitude issues and the rest but happens to have a kind of uh, you know growing relationship somewhere with eniola and she is just a beauty guys zubi michael guess plot of land in abuja as birthday gift from atiku abubakars that is a huge and a big one big congratulations and happy birthday to Zupi michael this is this guy always know how to uh, kind of entertain us on the wild screen tv <laughs> According to a report, Atiku's daughter, Nana, went the extra mile in celebrating Nollywood um, Zubi Michael, who recently clocked a new age. Nana gifted the entertainer a plot of land in Abuja as his birthday gift, and she also dedicated a post to him on Instagram. This guy is quite influential. You know, referred to uh, referred him uh, to himself as a uh, Zindiala. And uh, sharing that on social media, I I want to read what they actually shared. Uh, this came in from uh, Nana Atiku uh, Abubakar. She said, "Happy birthday to my favorite actor, a man with a heart of gold. May happiness never depart from you. May God keep opening your ways as you bless." others i'm always proud of you happy birthday my brother may allah bless your new age that came from nana atiku um you know and uh, yes uh this guy was all excited about that after the donation was made to him that is a person of Zubi Mike. I said, best cake, uh, best cake day gift ever. You know, Nana Atiku just gifted me a plot of land in Abuja as cake, uh, cake day gift. Nana Atiku, I really appreciate this. Thanks and God bless you. Uh, that is coming in from uh, you know Zubi Michael at this point in time, and I would say that is a great one. Zubi Michael is all happy about that. Celebrate and enjoy yourself. Coming in now, a uh, lot of people. Um, Obi Kobana's wife shared uh, the uh, uh, the school performance of. Um, their first son and that is actually high manga high high kobe's competition mathematics second position in the whole school first position in 
year eight. Top 20 highest point, top 20 academies, top five badges, students with no minus point, house captain, allow me brag a little, my son, in whom I'm well pleased, she wrote. Uh, that is something right now trending on social media, but uh, it's getting a lot of reactions. Why some persons are kind of hailing out this uh, young man saying, like father, like son, and then the, his father was also excited about that. And then somebody came from behind to say, man, may they go um, normal competition now. May they combine all the schools and see their position in Nigeria or something like that. But we really need to appreciate great performances. That is something I want to share with you guys. And I'm happy that, yes, having a price on is one thing that uh, a lot of parents are all excited and you know prayful about that is something i believe about this what is your own take about uh this story and uh, what is your own take put in your comment what you feel about what i've said so far nobody should ask me for money the case of first shopee has been postponed again to july 11 and that's some people are saying that here yeah, they want to keep hush puppy forever before deciding the case and that is actually interesting remember that hush puppy was arrested alongside his friends in dubai extradited to us and that since then hush puppy has been with the us masha why hush puppy was actually pleading guilty decided to a kind of um <laughs> name our super cup abakari at the end of the day guys according to a report right now um uh, <laughs> hush puppy is having a strong time in uh, jail right now and his case is still pending out there a lot of things hindering the case of hush puppy from being uh you know head and uh you know final decision being made about uh him um that is to show you that uh the life of crime is something that you should desist yourself from and right now there's a kind of pandemic of ritualism by the yahoo plus guys in nigeria and that is culminating into something serious a lot of us are not loving it out there and we are getting a backlash from this uh what i really want uh, the government to do is actually provide enabling environment for the young people to thrive also and then find a way to crack down on these perpetrators that is something i just want to advise on right now or uh, the lies of hushwa p the lies of the victims uh, woodbury they've given us bad image and reputation outside this country that is why as a young guy you travel out of this country man they see you as one of them as a first star because of the reputation these guys have carved for us um this case of hush puppy is another one that is trending right now on social media let's talk about it the united states district court for central district of california has postponed the sentencing of uh, raymond um, abbas hush puppy uh till july 11 2022 court documents seen by People's Gazette said Judge Otis the right in Los Angeles uh, granted the order after Hush Puppy's lawyer, led by Louis Shapiro, entered a request for postponement. He is expected to remain in custody in the intervening period of the delay. The Nigerian internet froster was previously scheduled to be sentenced on February 14 for duping people across different continents different countries so the tune of millions of dollars he pleaded guilty uh, last year to the charges seeking a higher a lighter sentence at the request of the council the sentencing is continued to july 11 2022 at 11 a.m the court document said after the decision was taken on february 2nd that is what we are going to be seeing somehow will hush puppy get a lighter sentence than five years than two years that is what they are saying because according to some document leaked to the public they said yes 
Hush Puppy is expected to pay the full restitution of um, you know what he has taken from people. Will he be able to pay? <laughs> Hush Puppy is known for designers living lavish life, and I think it's not going to be easy for Hush Puppy to pay that. That is what I believe about the whole story. And uh, what is your own take? After Hush Puppy pay that, <laughs> his girl get broke, and uh, I think that guy is not going to live for five minutes. <laughs> that is what I believe about the story of, uh, you know, Hush Puppy uh, out there, you know, actually disturbing a lot of us. Uh, some persons are saying that they missed Hush Puppy because he used to give us a lavish life, you know, vibes on social media. The lies of um, Mofa is facing the EFCC in Nigeria at Ikoi prison right now. His case is yet decided what is happening in nigeria the pandemic of uh, yahoo boys you know plus in nigeria is also affecting the nation at large what is happening in nigeria uh that is what a lot of people are now asking making it look like yes even those people doing legitimate businesses in nigeria outside nigeria they are frost stars also before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting through with Zip, keep sharing my videos across social media platforms and being a part of it. I love you. Keep supporting us.